Have you ever wondered how your body burns fat during exercise? Perhaps you're on a weight loss journey and you're curious about the science behind it all. Allow me to introduce the concept of fat oxidation. It's an intriguing process where your body cleverly uses stored fats as fuel during physical activity. Imagine it as a tiny furnace within your cells, slowly but surely burning away those pesky fat molecules. Now, the intensity of this fat-burning furnace varies. When it's burning at its brightest and fastest, we call this maximal fat oxidation, or MFO for short. It's like the turbo boost mode for your body's fat-burning engine. But just like any engine, there are factors that influence its efficiency, including your fitness level, the types of food you consume, and your unique hormonal balance. So now you know that fat oxidation is your body's method of using fat for fuel. But how does this process hit its peak, or maximum? Let's dive in. Maximal fat oxidation sounds like a complex term, doesn't it? But don't worry, we're going to break it down. Imagine a car engine, the more fuel it burns, the more power it produces. Our bodies work in a similar way, but the fuel here is the fat stored in our bodies. Maximal fat oxidation, or MFO for short, is essentially the peak rate at which our bodies burn this fat during physical activity. It's like hitting the top gear in your car, where the engine is working at its maximum capacity. Now you might wonder, why does this matter? Well, understanding MFO is a game changer if you're looking to lose weight. By knowing how and when your body hits its peak fat burning rate, you can better tailor your exercise routines and diet to maximize this effect. But here's the interesting part. Not everyone's top gear is the same. Several factors can influence your body's maximal fat oxidation. Just like some cars are designed for speed while others for fuel efficiency, our bodies too have different capacities for burning fat. Your fitness level, for instance, plays a significant role. The fitter you are, the higher your body's capacity to burn fat. But it's not just about fitness. The availability of fat, or how much fat your body has to burn, is another crucial factor. It's like having a full tank of fuel. The more you have, the longer you can keep the engine running. And let's not forget about hormones. They're like the car's control system, regulating how efficiently your body burns fat. A slight change in your hormonal balance can significantly impact your MFO. So to put it simply, MFO is your body's top gear for fat burning. But how can we use this knowledge to aid weight loss? Let's find out. Now that we understand what maximal fat oxidation is, how can we use this knowledge to our advantage in our weight loss journeys? Well, the key to unlocking maximal fat oxidation lies in the very activities we often associate with weight loss, exercise and diet. But it's not just about running on a treadmill or cutting out carbs. It's about smart strategic decisions that align with our body's natural metabolic processes. Let's start with exercise. By manipulating the intensity and duration of our workouts, we can tip the scales in favor of fat metabolism. This means creating a workout plan that encourages our bodies to rely more on fat for energy rather than carbs. Think endurance activities like long distance running or cycling performed at a moderate intensity. These activities push our bodies into a state of increased reliance on fat reserves, effectively depleting these stores and promoting weight loss. Now, on to diet. The foods we eat can significantly impact our ability to oxidize fat. Integrating specific nutritional strategies can enhance this process. For instance, a diet rich in healthy fats and low in simple carbs can optimize the availability of fatty acids for oxidation. Consuming smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day can also maintain a steady supply of substrates for fat metabolism. But it's not just about what we eat, but also when we eat. Timed nutrition strategies, such as consuming a high-fat meal before a workout, can prime the body for increased fat oxidation during exercise. The beauty of maximal fat oxidation is that it offers a scientific, personalized approach to weight loss. By understanding our individual metabolic responses to exercise and diet, we can tailor our weight loss strategies to our unique physiological needs. This isn't a one-size-fits-all approach, but a custom-built plan designed to maximize fat burning and promote sustainable weight loss. So, there you have it. By understanding and harnessing the power of maximal fat oxidation, you can turbocharge your weight loss journey. Remember, knowledge is power, and a little science can go a long way in helping you achieve your goals.